Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is exploring an interesting Town Hall 9 concept for air attacks. It's using the heal spell on your balloons, and uh, it's something that I've been seeing more and more lately, along with people using, you know, the lightning spell, the uh, skeleton spell, just different spells beyond the rages and the hastes in their air attacks, and it works out very well on certain bases. So I'm going to be talking about how you use the heal spell exactly, when to use it, what parts of the base, uh, how to plan it, that kind of stuff. We'll take a look at a few attacks. Uh, this is the war against the swarm. I'll try to bring uh, the last 30 minutes, 10 minutes or whatever live to you guys um, if I'm able to be on because that should be an exciting finish. Uh, so look forward to that. Hopefully I can get that video done. And then also um, I am going to be making a Q&A video somewhat soon. So go ahead and drop your questions uh, on this video or one of the next few videos. I'll remind you guys a few more times. But get those questions dropped and if you want me to answer a question you see in the comments just drop a like that tells me multiple people want me to answer that question and I'll be sure to put it on the top of my list uh, so look forward to seeing your guys's questions in the comments but anyway let's get to this video and talk about the heal spell so I'm gonna go ahead and play the first attack this one is uh, apocalypse cow and I still don't know why people put their CC off-centered I guess it can work sometimes, I'm not a huge fan of it, but what uh, Apocalypse is going to do, just drop down the king, few wall breakers to open the king up, he'll get in there, take out the queen, easy stuff, then he drops his own queen on the left side here, and she gets a ton of value, because a few Teslas pop, she takes those out, and remember what I said in the previous video, um, if you're going to zap zap quick and air defense down you want to take out the air targeting defenses around it that way the balloons aren't exposed uh, in a place where there's no lava hound tanking because there's no air defense um, but unfortunately these two defenses don't go down because of the Teslas which I assume he wasn't planning for so that's kind of unfortunate but let's keep going with the attack you can see some Teslas popping already uh, the balloons get to them though the haste is going to propel them along hasn't dropped any of those heal spells yet actually just has one heal spell Hasn't dropped that yet. Um, just moving his way through. Second Lava Hound down. Uh, balloons taking out the air defense. Nice uh, clockwise deployment. The sweepers being a little bit of a nuisance, but no rush. Doesn't have to move that fast. Has uh, quite a few Lava Hounds, I think four of them. Plus that rage will keep everything moving quick enough um, so they'll be able to overcome the sweepers. Uh, that last Lava Hound coming in, the max one from the CC, it initially goes to that air defense, but as soon as that one goes down, it'll re reroute over to the fourth air defense, and uh, he has two Lava Hounds at about half health each uh, sitting over there tanking for that air defense. So the balloons, even though there's nothing left to propel them, they're in some huge numbers, and they're approaching very quickly on that air defense. Now right here, the heal spell is where it's actually going to be used. Um, drops it down for that wizard tower. It's a good way to avoid these end defenses, and these actually were supposed to be taken out by the queen, in which case he probably wouldn't have even needed the heal spell, but um, part of bringing the heal spell is it's not always about planning where you're going to use it. It's a little bit of improv because there's certain parts of the base where a Tesla farm pops up and typically if people are a good base builder, they'll put their Tesla farm out of range of an air defense so the Teslas can't reach the Lava Hound, which will make them target your balloons. That's the, how they try to take out your balloons. So you want to use that heal spell sometimes to kind of improv if a Tesla farm pops up along with some wizard towers and some air traps to keep those balloons from dying and uh, kind of counter the the mechanisms the defender has in place to take out your balloons. So not a huge application in that last attack, but this next one will definitely use it in a more effective way. Uh, this is 21 we're looking at uh, Shock, and he's using two heal spells, actually, and then just brings the six haste, so really loading up there on uh, the haste spells. Goes ahead and drops the queen down, very easy access to the defensive queen. This base, um, I'm not a huge fan of the design, but, you know... Someone definitely put some hard work into it, so I'm not going to downplay it. Uh, takes out the queen, gets the archer tower as well. Then I like what he does here. Had the minion to take out the trash building, create the funnel for the king, 
and from here he'll just drop down a few wall breakers, let the king on into the base to get that next air defense taken out. The queen obviously can't reach that other air defense, so he'll only get one of them, but I believe he has, I think, five lava hounds, so definitely has the tanking. Right there, um, the king doesn't have enough juice, he's only level 25, so that air defense is going to be so close, it won't act actually go down though, but he does a smart thing here, just targets it directly, so takes it out before it can hurt his lava hounds too bad, um, nothing lost too much, then drops down that heal spell, because look, right here, that one lo lava hound, it's going to the top air defense, so... Uh, it's not going to be doing any tanking. This other Lava Hound's going all the way over here, meaning there's two Teslas, uh, plus this Archer Tower, plus the Expo, depending on what it targets, all targeting the Balloons, most likely. And uh, that's where you want the Heal Spell. In places where the air defense, um, there's no air defenses, really, so the Lava Hounds aren't nearby. They're not going to be tanking to keep those Balloons up while they're being targeted. So good job here. You can see the Balloons going to stay at full health, despite the Teslas. That way, he can get some pretty good value take out that area of the base and uh, that and the lava hound is free to kind of go over to the next area and start in with the rest of the balloons on that next air defense. So it gets the expo taken out as well because of that heal spell helping out. The other Tesla, the balloons don't path over to it. So it is going to be kind of a random Tesla just hanging out right there, but no big deal. Comes in with the next lava hound, the next set of balloons, another haste. Yes, you guys have seen this a ton of times, working his way around the base. Um, he'll have that last lava hound coming in right there. A few more balloons uh, deployed on these last few defenses. And nice thing there, he targets the air defense directly. Uh, drops that last heal because, look, we have the wizard tower. We have, I think, the archer tower and the expo. I think they were being tanked, but still the wizard tower can take out big groups of balloons. So he had the, uh, the heal spell down um, to get those balloons back to full health so they can deal with the last few defenses at full health. Um, I think it's a very effective spell. We'll take a look at one more attack as well, but, um, it, I mean, it does take up two spell space, so you want to, you know, make sure you're going to get your value, but I think at the same time, um, it's not going to matter if your balloons are raged or hasted, um, if they're not alive, and you need to keep their hit points up in certain areas where the lava hounds aren't doing the tanking, um, especially if you're not bringing that many balloons, it's, it's definitely worth it, because, um, uh, the Lava Hounds only tank at certain positions, and oftentimes a good defender will put their Tesla farm or their wizard towers or their air traps away from those air defenses to try, try to take out those balloons directly. You can almost never predict where the Tesla farm is going to be on a first attack, so you want to have that heal so you can improv sometimes and drop it down. Uh, I don't. I doubt that last attack was completely planned as far as where the heals would be. It was kind of like, I'll see where my balloons start taking damage, where the Teslas are, and just kind of go from there. So, awesome attack. We're going to take a look at one more, and um, it's a 99%. I think it's safe to show. I have to be a little bit careful after um, some of the complaints on my last video. I think the Town Hall 11 dip attack I showed. have to be a little bit careful, but I think it's 99%. It'll be three-starred. Probably on the next attack, and even still, if it gets 99% uh, build a new base at that point. It's pretty much a 3-star, so hopefully I can uh, get away with showing this attack before the base is actually completely 3-starred. Um, anyway, this is Apocalypse again, so okay, looks like he has a almost 6-star war, 5.5 we'll call it. Um, this is another solid attack, has the heal spell, has two rages, has three hastes, and then has the poison for the CC, I believe. Drops down the queen, just on a little bit of a queen walk here. Going to get her to move in there, step up, and get that next air defense. Uh, the defender was nice enough to put that air defense in range, so the queen can get it without even entering the base. He goes ahead and lures out the off-centered CC, which is another thing I don't really agree with um, for base builders. I just think it makes it too easy for the person to kind of man manipulate your CC and have it come out exactly when they want. Uh, but uh, there's definitely a reason for doing it. And I'm not a Town Hall 9 myself, so maybe I'm a little bit misguided on that. I don't know. Anyway, the queen goes ahead and targets that wall, so she's going in. Uh, sorry about that, missed the king, but he came in. Just a quick trade to take out the queen. Very lucky he actually got the queen, because all four of those Teslas pop, and uh, that can take out your king really fast. I think the, the defender put that as a trap to try to get that king trade, but the king trade actually worked and took out the queen uh, despite all that damage from the Teslas. So a little bit lucky, um, interesting little uh, trap there. Uh, anyway, coming in with the air part of the attack and thinking about where he's gonna use his heal, 
Um, look at that Tesla farm. Uh, that's where he's going to use it because um, especially those two Teslas, possibly a third one, are all not going to be able to uh, reach the Lava Hound if it sits on that air defense nearby. So that's where the damage is going to be coming for his balloons. Right there, drops down the Lava Hound, and he has that heal spell in just a moment. Uh, right there on top of that Tesla farm, keeping those balloons up. It's a little thing, but it does make a difference. Um, some of these attacks are already so well done that the heal spell probably wouldn't have made it. Um, if it wasn't there, it probably wouldn't have been a fail. But still, it's important. The balloons are full health and as they go into that last uh, wizard tower, with especially with the red air bomb, it's important the balloons are high on health because if not, the splash damage will take them out if they're only at like half health or something. So it's still important. Um, the heal spell doesn't always get the credit it deserves, I think, for air attacks. I'd recommend bringing one heal spell, especially if you're bringing uh, four lava hounds and a lot of balloons. If you're doing a huge air attack and just a very small, uh, you know, a king trade for the queen and maybe just a small queen take out the CC troops. If you're not doing that invasive of a kill squad and spending most of your troop space on uh, the air part of the attack, I think it's definitely worth bringing one heal spell. Um, you don't have to plan beforehand and look that the town hall just doesn't go down. That's a heartbreaker. But you don't have to uh, plan beforehand necessarily where you're going to drop the heal spell. Just have it there for when a Tesla farm pops up. Tesla farms are very popular. People are looking for ways to kill your balloons in certain locations. You want the heal spell because the Lava Hounds won't be tanking. That's how the defender sets it up on purpose. So hope you guys liked the video. Like I said, drop questions for the Q&A. should be out in a few days. I'll keep reminding you guys in the next videos. Um, so do make sure to do that if you have a question. And uh, that covers it. Hope you liked the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.